Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out North End Tower Defense, which I actually checked out a couple of months ago, but this game has continued to be updated at a rate of knots, and so I thought, so I thought what better opportunity to jump back into things. Now, since the last time that I played, a whole bunch of different maps have been added. There's also a brand new, uh, a brand new game mode uh, as well. Um, we're not going to be playing on the, the brand new game mode, we're going to be playing on the open battlefield. The, the new map that has been added as part of the big major update uh, that was somewhat recent, uh, is the farm, and uh, we're going to jump into that. Now, um, this, funnily enough, is continuing on uh, from my last level of uh, unlocks, so I do have a couple of points that I can spend, but I don't think it's enough to unlock anything at the moment. I think we're just going to jump into the game and see exactly what we've got in store. Um, as ever, uh, I'll explain exactly what the heck is going on. It's a pretty simple one. Uh, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. Very, very simple. Um, let's actually pause just to sort of have a little look at, uh, at what's going on here. Now, we've got our units on the left-hand side here, and then we've also got all of our uh, all of our abilities over on the right-hand side here. We've got some points, and the points are what we use to spend on, uh, on abilities, and then we've also got money, which we can use to spend on troops. Now, the interesting thing about this map here, which, um, which we'll probably see in the next map, because I didn't have the foresight to show off uh, an older map previously, is that they've, they've got these advanced sort of positions. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we'll get a few, there we go, we'll get a few few of these guys in, in place. Let's, uh, there we go, crank the music a little bit, don't know why it's so, uh, so low. We'll get some, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some people here. But anyway, as you can see, these people behind, there we go, behind the position, uh, can't actually can't actually fire until the enemy is sort of adjacent or sort of like right next to. Anyway, uh, what are we gonna what are we gonna do? So we got 22 waves to get through or to try and get through, I suppose. And each and every wave that we complete, we're able to be presented with uh, some goodies, some goodies indeed. Uh, what do we got? We've got a mortar, machine gun, an upgrade to uh, an existing trooper, and that is better accuracy on the dudes that I've been placing already. And then we've also got artillery in the battlefield. I am fine with that, I think? Sure. Yeah, let's upgrade everyone. Now, I also believe that the uh, the cover mechanics are brand new, so we can see that some people have got uh, a defensive bonus, which I think is a nice little which is a nice little thing. Obviously, these three guys didn't get didn't get treated with uh, with that, but that's fine. Uh, Farsight, have a bigger radius? Sure. Honestly, I feel like we're just doubling down on our very, very sort of basic setup at the moment. We're going to get some dudes in advanced positions. Anyway, other than that, it's a very, very sort of, uh, it's a very, I guess, simple concept here, but very, very enjoyable and very difficult to master as well. Double magazine? Sure, let's just keep on upgrading, keep on upgrading our dudes here. Absolutely no reason not to. And we'll keep placing them as well. Squeeze in, squeeze in everyone so that we can get these defensive bonuses in place. Uh, there's some big trucks here. Now, these big trucks will be able to be destroyed by the, uh, by my, by my units. But holy cow, this is exactly what I need. Frequently throws grenades at enemies or an extra reward for the next wave. You know what? Let's live dangerously. I think we can pull off, I think we can pull off, uh, this wave without grenades, but we'll keep an eye on things just to make sure. I mean, we have upgraded these units a tremendous amount. They're not actually necessarily hitting every shot, but they're not exactly doing a bad job at all, are they? No, on the contrary, they're actually doing a great job. Well, this is looking fantastic. Plus, we haven't actually spent any, any at all, uh, actually, of our, uh, of our abilities yet, but that's okay. You know what? Let's keep it up. Let's give, let's give our dudes grenades, and this is just, this is where things are gonna get crazy. I mean, these ragdoll physics are gonna really come into their own right now, I suspect. Anyway, uh, we have 100% of our base health. We can, we can modify the speed at which the game is taking place at. Uh, I think one time, 1.5 times speed is, is good enough for me, uh, at the present moment. Uh, we can speed that up if we need to, but I don't particularly think that we need to. Uh, what do we got here? Airborne. We can get some airborne units. I feel like maybe we get some airborne units just to sort of demonstrate how that uh, how that works. Boom. Let's get them landed. So a big old plane comes across, and we get ourselves... Three, two, one. There we go. We're starting to see them float down from the top of the screen there. Fantastic. Also, things are going to get a little bit chaotic. So I'm going to need to focus up here. 
Uh, what have we got? We can get a parachuting regiment, or we can get a machine gun, or we can get a mortar. I think we actually need a mortar, to be honest. I mean, we have, we've not built this Bofors thing, uh, but I'm actually going to get a mortar just to sort of try and do some of the clearance here. There we go. There we go. A few mortars just to sort of try and primarily deal with a lot of the trucks. Mortars on the back line seems like a pretty good place for them to go. Yeah, not exactly sure. It would also be great if we could get some upgrades to the mortars as well. Plus, I need to keep on replenishing my frontline soldiers. Making sure that we can get that defensive bonus if it's all possible. 200 coins to use in the battle. I don't feel like that's particularly useful. Machine gun, eh, not feeling that right now, to be honest. Maybe I'll take the medic. The medic is a little bit expensive. 200 coins in order to get, uh, in order to get the ability to... Oh my lordy, we got, we got absolutely destroyed at this side here. Yoink that in there. Let's get ourselves a medic here. I don't know if this is going to be a useful medic, but you know what? There seems to me absolutely no reason that we can't at least consider it and, you know, get a couple down in a couple of strategic places. Bolster. Bolster. Bolster this. Okay. Uh, medic speed is increased by 25%. That seems fine to me. Let's actually slow the game down. I think one time speed is going to be absolutely ample. These, like, armored defensive guys are actually proving to be more problematic than the truck. Um, we can get one of these, like, turret things. I don't think they're that great, to be honest. I think I actually prefer my my soldiers, to be honest. Let's see if we can try and squeeze more of these... more of these chaps into here. I got loads of money. I seem to have not necessarily a limitless amount of money, but enough money. Uh, let's get some mortars at this side, because there is a flippin' tank over there. Okay, that tank didn't manage to actually do, as far as I'm concerned, any damage. Well, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's good news. Um, I'll get an expert healer. Sure, we're on wave 10, by the way. This is how chaotic things are on wave 10. Uh, it is only going to get crazier from here. Let me let me tell you that. Right, I tell you what, the range of these guys is incredible. Now that they've got the medic as well, perhaps we can start thinking about placing uh, my regular soldiers in slightly more, I guess, dangerous situations. You know, sort of like out in the open here, as opposed to just behind defensive defensive structures. Also, we need to get some more mortars over here. It's kind of kind of necessary, isn't it? We also need to get a medic over here, which I have yet to do because dudes keep dying at the right-hand side over here. More medic upgrades? I mean, I'm kind of down with that, to be honest. I think that's cool. There we go. Okay, and then let's wait until we get enough money to get a few more riflemen over at the right-hand side of the map. Yeah, I mean, medics can be a little hit or miss. Oh my lordy, there was just a massive offensive by enemy bombers here. Holy cow. Now, I think we can hit enemy bombers, but I feel like maybe we need to get one of these turrets in order to try and do... in order to try and do that. Because that certainly seems like a pretty bad, problematic case of something that we just cannot deal with at the present moment. Uh, we could also get some mines, which I might just do. Let's get some mines over there. Okay, um, give me a wave reward, sure. Uh, we can get some mines, we can start using some airborne troops, let's do that. Maybe get a bomber, uh, over here. Sure. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. If we can hit the truck as well, that would be brilliant. I don't think that was mine. I think that's mine. It's difficult to tell what's mine and what's the enemy's. Is that mine? Oh, that's mine. That's mine right there. That's good. That's good. It looks fine to me. Looks great to me. Okay, my troops are coming in. My airborne artillery. They're probably immediately going to get absolutely destroyed. Oh yeah, they just floated through. <laughs> they just floated through the world. Maybe they just died too quickly. Okay. Nice. 200 coins, parachuting troops. Uh, the parachuting troops should probably come down in my area now. I've kind of... I've tried that a few times. I'll take the machine gunner. I mean, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Mark my words. There's, there is no way that this machine gun is going to be in an entrenched enough position to not, uh, to not take any damage. But there you go. Let's also get one of these... There we go. I don't know if this is going to be any use. This is a brand new, brand new unit. I'm not entirely sure how it works. 
so we'll just have to wait and see. I will say, the left... The left side of the, the map seems to be... I mean... Very, very strong. Uh, some barbed wire. I mean, I might as well get some barbed wire. As soon as we possibly can, I'll get more, I guess. Aha! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! The anti-aircraft turret actually did its job. That's good. Machine guns have more sandbags. The screen is starting to shake. Things are a little bit chaotic. That's what I kind of love about this game, is that it, it is just all absolutely madness. Look at that. Look at that. Aircraft is down. You love to see it. Let's get another one of those, because that was brilliant, and it also... It can do a little bit of damage to trucks, if I, you know, had to guess. Uh, but that's fine. Right, let's get some more mortars. I feel like more mortars are in order. Literally an entire back line of mortars. How is that looking? It's looking pretty good. It's looking very, very good, to be honest. This is looking very, very impressive. Right, machine guns. I mean... We can get some machine guns on the front line here? That's... That's a strong... That's a strong offering right there. I'll say that much. We got our frontline defensive area here. That's good. MG uh, have bigger radius. Sure. What's the radius now? That's huge, actually. They're going to be able to make a real a real difference over there with, uh, with that. Barbed wire looking good. Doesn't last forever, mind you, so we will need to consider that. Uh, air bombers. Let's actually get some air bombers in there. Let's get some mines right over there. We can actually mine right under the tanks, which is kind of handy. And we'll bring down some airborne troops as well. We'll get some new barbed wire right in the center. Barbed wire will, I believe, slow down the tanks. This is just madness. This is absolutely madness. But it doesn't seem like I'm losing very much at all, does it? I mean, you know, without wanting to sound too overly cocky. I mean, this looks... It looks good. It looks very, very good. I'll take an extra um, a reward multiplier, actually. Doesn't really seem to be any reason not to take that. And maybe I'll just try and add more regular troops. I mean, they really are very, very cheap. There we go. I mean, we just have waves and waves and waves of mortars here as well. That's... <laughs> I probably shouldn't, you know, underestimate the, the amount of, uh, of damage that mortars are doing. And given that I've got all this extra money, I think I might just take the opportunity to spam down as many mortars as I possibly can. Okay. So, I mean, things are going pretty well. I feel like maybe things are going a little bit too well. I wasn't really anticipating getting to wave 22. I know that I haven't actually got there yet. I don't want to be I don't want to be presumptive. Uh, but it's looking it's looking good. It's looking it's looking positive. It's looking it is looking positive. And uh, I do like I do like positive vibes. Right. Next reward. Let's get some airborne troops down in here. Beautiful. I mean, this is just... It is just absolutely chaos, isn't it? It's a good thing that I've got this, the sand turned down. Because otherwise... You wouldn't be able to hear yourself think over the din. Right. Maybe a, maybe a machine gun turret thing over here. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Oh my lordy. What is happening? More mortars, more mortars. More mortars. Let's do damage at a distance. Next wave reward. Give me more... Give me more rewards. There we go. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? I feel confident enough to maybe go into slightly faster speed here. I feel like literally as soon as these troops are landing, they're just being confronted with a wave of mortars like around the center of the map here. Uh, my anti-aircraft uh, turrets are bringing down are bringing down aircraft pretty much as soon as they show up. That feels pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Uh, you know what I'll do, actually? You know what I'll do? I'll actually get a few more medics. Yeah, let's nab a few more medics. That seems like a pretty good idea to spend money on right now. I mean, there might be nobody that needs healing, but... What's the downside, really, I guess? There's not really. And plus, they're super highly leveled anyway, so we might as well. Maybe we just literally get mortars next time. Who needs who needs regular troopers when you've got when you've got mortars? Um, we'll build. Build some more stuff. Um, we've got so many points that it's actually. There's no reason not for us to spam out all this sort of stuff. There we go. 
Bring in the bomber. Beautiful. By the time the bomber arrives, most of the damage has actually been done. But I suppose we do get a few, a few kills over there. That's not too bad. I do like these advanced positions, though. That is, that is particularly cool. We'll have to check out the other maps to see if there are uh, advanced positions in any other maps. I don't think that there are, but you never know. Okay. Let's go 2.5 times speed. Let's see what's happening. I am actually shocked that we've, that we've managed to do as well as we have. Squeeze in. Squeeze in extra troops. I've got two grand of money. There we go. Look at this chaos. Look at this glorious, glorious, glorious chaos. Right, somehow I'm actually managing to spend all of my cash, which is remarkable. Uh, let's get some more mortars. There we go. More mortars on the back line. More mortars everywhere. <laughs> this is mad. This is absolutely mad. More. 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 They're just sending more and more vehicles. Next wave starts in 3, 2, 1. It's wave 19. How are there still three waves left? How are there still three waves left? Honestly, I am so unbelievably surprised that things have gone as well as they as well as they did. I don't think I got to the I don't think I got to wave 22 the last time that I played this game. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is going fantastically. I guess I guess regular troopers are OP. I mean, I mean, I don't even think any of our dudes at the advanced sort of at the advanced sort of spots are dying. I mean, maybe the occasional one on the edge, but for the most part, I think we're fine. I'll take the artillery strike. Um, artillery strike just adds a little bit of extra... Oh. A little bit of extra firepower on the battlefield. I don't think it's actually necessary at all. I think the firepower from these rows and rows of mortars is actually... <laughs> it's kind of disgusting, actually. <laughs> it's a bit over the top, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're airdropping so many people in. And they're all just dropping down at, like, a similar sort of time. And they're all just being absolutely annihilated. I'll take, uh... I'll take some artillery on the battlefield, please. That would be great. The more the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. This is looking very, very good. Uh, let's get... Sure, we'll get some barbed wire over yonder. Some more of this stuff. Plop that in there. I guess we'll just get, uh... We'll just get the bombers to go and do something, I suppose. And I guess we'll get parachuting troops. Sure, I'll get parachuting troops as a, as a, as a surprise. Okay, literally, literally, the number of mortars, dude. The number of mortars. Somebody did just die there. Hold on, we did have three guys just die, three whole people dying, and some of these planes are crashing into my troops, which may or may not be hurting them. I think it is hurting them, but uh, but I'm not too sure because it. It really doesn't feel like anyone is doing any damage to me at all. Well, this is great. Don't get me wrong. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I'm leveling up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Every time I, it's every time I level up rather than every time I finish the wave. Boom. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, they did take out, they did take out some, some stuff over here. I'm going to have to... There we go. Uh, artillery on the battlefield. There we go. And some mortars as well. A few mortars. There we go. Just for good measure. We can't... Can't let the regular infantry have all the fun. Okay, well, um, I think... I think we've pretty comprehensively beaten the farm level, which is pretty darn good. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm very, very surprised that it happened. I mean, I don't want to speak before it actually has happened, but I'm, I'm thinking at this point that we're... That we're, we're in a pretty darn good position, if I do indeed say so myself. Yeah. Let's get some more some more bombs off. Paratroops and people in. Let's get some mines on the go. Immediately throw them. I mean, this is absolutely... This is absolutely ridiculous. This is some proper chaos here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at these mortars. <laughs> it's like 20 mortars that land in the exact same spot. <laughs> Just look at the back line when they all fire. That is marvelous. Okay, um, sure. We'll get parachuting troops. I mean, it doesn't particularly matter. 
It really does not matter at this point. The wave is literally almost done. We'll slow it down to 1.5 times speed. To be fair, slowing it down to 1.5 times speed doesn't actually uh, make the game look any less crazy and just full on. There is so much happening. There really, really is. Well, I can. I think we can safely say that we repelled the attack. Honestly, it feels like we've got more troops than the enemy has actually thrown at me. That's probably a bit of an exaggeration, but um, we're in a nice place. We're in a very, very nice place. And it feels, it feels good. And it shows that it feels good. This must be the last sort of gasp. I can't imagine that any of these troops are suddenly going to manage to breach my, uh, breach my, my thorough defenses. The last three fools... The last single fool to be eliminated. Will it be a will it be a regular trooper or will it be a mortar that eliminates him? It will be a regular infantryman. Excellent. Wow. Okay. Honor points 795. Wave reached 22. Allies killed. Wait, that's my own people. 45. How did I manage to do that? I don't. Oh, that's that would have been 45 of my troops that the enemies would have killed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we got a few upgrades across all of our cannons. That's cool. I really, really like the the sort of meta progression, uh, the meta progression in uh, in this in this game. It's very, very nice indeed. So we've got herd, greased barrel, fast reload, unlimited reach, and we've got a few more kills required for the machine guns, but that is not too bad at all. Right, okay, um, the fact that we managed to get to wave 22 there is highly surprising to me. I mean, genuinely really, really surprising. Uh, we've got, what, 1,200? I mean, we could get ourselves a bicycle. Or it's got to be a flamethrower, right? It's got to be a flamethrower. Actually, I tell you what, it doesn't have to be either. It needs to be a shotgun because the shotgun was the brand new unit uh, that was actually unlocked this game. Uh, unlocks wave 20 in, what is that, HTL mode? HTL mode. It's gone past me. Uh, yeah, we still don't have any of these things. Armored would be nice. Bazooka would be nice. But I think, honestly, we got to use the shotgun, right? We have to use the shotgun. Okay. So this is another map that I that I have yet to play. Um, not entirely sure what the sort of situation is here. Oh, it's, the, it's another one of these advanced... There we go. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Greased barrel shoots faster. Oh, that's for the that's for the bow fours. Um, maybe let's go for the machine gun upgrade this time, kind of early. I think it would be kind of nice to do. Let's get the machine gunners to be in the front. Oh, look, we got some troops going under here. That's cool. Right. So obviously we've got our forward, our forward, uh, our forward offense force. Machine guns have more sandbags. Upgrades for the machine guns. Honestly, I feel like machine guns need to be used more because I need to get the upgrades for those. So let's see if we can try and pull that off. Uh, greased barrel. I really don't want. Let's take the shotgun. Let's take the shotgun. It's brand new. Boom. Is it good? It's not bad. Um, it's probably going to be better with a few upgrades. How much does it cost? 200 bucks? When a machine gun is 160, that feels like a little bit of a difficult value proposition. And also, it seems the shotgunners can't actually, like, do very much early on. We'll take the Bofors upgrade, and we'll get a Bofors literally just for the sake of uh, anti-aircraft. Seems like a little bit of a dodgy thing to do if you want to come across a bridge and try and take out... Uh, try and take us out over here. That bazooka was unbelievably effective. Wow. Okay, uh, this Bofors is yeah is uh, is 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 good, but it's it's taken its it's taken its time to actually dole out the damage. Right, uh, let's get some mines in here. Beautiful. I will get better accuracy on the uh, on the regular troopers. I tell you what, I really need to get more regular troopers into into play. I mean, I've got them. They're upgraded to a very very high level. I don't know why I don't just use them. I was trying to get all fancy with my machine gunners and my shotgunners, but, I mean, at the end of the day, if we can shoot all this distance and we get a defensive bonus, it seems like an absolute travesty to not get, uh... Boom. There you go. Blow yourself up on some mines. Yeah, it seems like an absolute travesty not to, not to use these guys. 
The boat force is pretty nice, though. The boat, you know, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. With the grease barrel, it's uh, it's shooting a little bit faster, feels a little bit more fluid. It's good. Okay, machine gun, bigger radius. Ugh, I really wish I'd been offered another upgrade to the to the regular trooper here. That would have been fantastic. This is looking a little sketchy. This is looking a little sketchy here. There we go. Let's get the machine gunner out. There we go. Okay. Ah. Okay, we are taking we are taking some severe damage. There we go. I lost. Oh my lordy! Did you see how fast I lost there? Holy cow! That was incredibly. That was incredibly quick. We did get an upgrade uh, for one of our for one of our dudes, but I mean that was like pretty much the exact opposite of what was going on last time. Okay, let's not let's not get fancy with it this time. Let's just let's do the sensible thing. Do the sensible thing. We'll get. Uh, we get some troops in advanced positions. Uh, let's let's get upgrades. Let's get upgrades. Let's focus on our upgrades and let's focus on just replenishing, replenishing the units here. Let's 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 get overwhelming force on our side, especially if we get some upgrades in play. Literally walk within range and then start the start the chaos off. We'll get like one or two advanced uh, people in advanced positions. Just to sort of help out. Bigger radius. You'll love to see it. Honestly, I think getting these guys upgraded as a first port of call is like... It's kind of a no-brainer, to be honest. It's kind of a no-brainer. Okay. I don't think that we can really fit three people on here. But honestly, I really like it. Double the magazine. Man, that feels like an important upgrade. That feels really, really good. Okay, this dude is just doing absolutely nothing. But to be fair, the range is not quite there yet. It will be, one day, but not yet. The range on these guys is now absolutely crazy. I feel like maybe just literally beating this game with the... with the normal boys is, is the way to go. Uh, frequently throws grenades, you love to see it. We'll get some mines over there, and we'll actually make sure that... Yeah, we'll make sure that the middle area is barricaded so that we can kind of combat things a little bit better here. Ooh. Nice. Okay, third one in there. Beautiful. That's looking brilliant. That's looking excellent. Okay, so behind these two destroyed tanks, we've got some real... Some really brave individuals here who frequently die, but that's okay. Maybe we just get, like, one trooper and then one medic? Maybe that's a combo that we can... That we can get to grips with. Uh, when dies, heal nearby alleys for 30%. Okay, that immediately... That immediately mitigates exactly what I said about a medic. That seems like an absolute... Absolute winner, winner, chicken dinner. An absolute winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, we are losing a little bit of... A little bit of momentum over on the right-hand side. Okay. Get them replaced. Beautiful. Okay. I think now we can maybe afford to start getting a little bit more... A little bit more adventurous with our composition. That is to say, I mean, a shotgun... A shotgun boy. A shotgun boy here or two shotgun boys here would be pretty darn sick. If I can... Yeah, if I can get it, why not, eh? If I can get it, why not? There we go. I presume that the shotgun is is uh, is like an area of effect thing. So if we can if we can get it, then then why not? Let's wait until we can push back up to this point again because it might be a little while before we can get there. But I'll bolster the I'll bolster I'll bolster the firepower over at this side in order to try and fight back to this position, which we've now done. I'll yoink that in there. Machine gun, artillery strike. I think I'll take. I think I'll take a medic, actually. We'll get another shotgunner in here. Hopefully the shotgunners are going to do their job. I don't know how effective it's going to be. We'll get another shotgunner on the corner here. Shotgunner there. The damage seems good, but it doesn't seem, you know, overwhelmingly good. Especially against these boys here. I think we really need to sort of transition into mortars. Yeah, I really, really do. Because this seems... There seems like a lot of armored units, and armored units seem to respond very, very poorly to, uh... 
There we go. They seem to respond very, very poorly to, uh... To mortars. Okay, we're losing our forward operating bases. That's kind of to be expected. Let's get some mortars, more mortars. Oh my lordy, the bazookas on the front lines took out my... Took out my regular dudes. Mortar reloading faster. I'll yoink that. Absolutely. Categorically. Yeah, we've lost a little bit of our front line over the left here. We're a little bit... We're a little bit open. But thankfully, we've bolstered our defenses with mortars. But we need to make sure that we've got at least a front line to... To do... To do some defending here. Okay, nice. Nice. A few more... A few more... A few more mortars. And some more upgrades as well. Some more XP would be brilliant. Thank you, video game. Excellent. Not excellent. Uh, 200 coins? 200 coins now, that would be what? Like a mortar? Give or take? Uh, increased medic speed? Sure, we'll do the- we'll do the upgrade. If only because it's gonna lead to better upgrades. I think only one slot can be occupied with like an upgrade at any one time. Oh my lordy, okay, this is- this is becoming a little bit problematic. Let's get some- let's get some troops down. Yeah, okay, the, there's literally nobody on the front lines to hold. The mortars are getting slaughtered here. This is- this is bad news. Oh my god, there's a tank as well. The tank was destroyed. I don't know how that happened. I'm delighted. I'm- I'm absolutely delighted. Okay. Spam down a little bit more. A little bit more- a little bit more stuff here on the front line. Boom. Get one of those under there. Expert healer or- I think I'm actually gonna take artillery. Okay. Keep up the good work. I don't know what's happening. I literally don't know what's happening. But what I know is that things are mostly okay. Things feel okay. Uh, I am out of cash. I am out of cash and this is wave 11. This is exactly what I kind of anticipated to happen. Uh, yeah, mortars are being taken out on the back lines. That is never a good situation. I mean, anyone taken out anywhere is a bad situation. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I think we might have... I think our goose might have been cooked on this one, I'm afraid, friends. We've got a medic. I don't think medics are very offensively oriented. Oh, holy cow. That was a tough... That was a tough one. That was a really, really tough one. Right, max upgrades on, on you. Max upgrades on you. No upgrades on the Bofor yet. That's fine. Let's go back to the main menu. Right, so we checked out what? We checked out the bridge. We'll do city invasion. I don't think I've checked out big trench yet. We'll, we'll see city invasion. We'll see how we do... We'll see how we do here. Uh, we've got all of our units equipped. I don't think... Actually, no, tell a complete lie. Apparently, we will have enough uh, enough points to get something. A flamethrower, a cannon, an SMG? Bayonet, a bicycle? An armored unit? I kind of like the idea of an armored unit. I also kind of like the idea of a bazooka unit. Let's go for a flipping bazooka unit, honestly. Let's freaking go. I also feel like it can kind of be a little bit of a downside because you dilute your upgrade pool. Oh, wowzers. This is an incredibly different map. This is a, a central square. It doesn't look like we're ever going to be attacked from the side down here, but... Okay. We start with a regular old turret here. Okay. i got to splash a little bit of cash. Let's get some better accuracy, though. Oh, wow, there's actually a dude coming from the south. Oh, my lordy. That, okay, I said that they weren't going to be coming from there, and I apparently abjectly lied. We're just going to have to spam down a few more dudes for a while. They're literally coming from every single side here. Oh, my lordy. This is crazy. Okay, greased barrel on the bow fours. Sure, I'm actually going to take a medic, because I actually think a medic is going to be super valuable here. Can we get barbed wire yet? No, we can't get barbed wire. We will look to get barbed wire as soon as we can. That's, that's, it's fine. Get people in advanced positions here. Oh my lordy, what the heck are you doing? Oh, you're on a truck. This area is entirely, entirely undefended. Bazooka, maybe? Okay, get you in there. That's fine. We're going to need to get some machine gunners here. We need to get machine gunners over that, over that side because there's no defensive bonus as is. The Bofors is doing something. I don't know what it is, but it's doing something. Barbed wire. Let's get barbed wire over there. We need to get barbed wire in literally every position around the map. 
And we just need to hope that we get some upgrades. Can we get some can we get some action on this dude, please? Hope the bazooka comes in useful. Keep on giving me the upgrades. Keep on giving me the upgrades. The Bofors died in the center here. Hate to see that. Let's get some soldiers, airdrop soldiers in here. Mm, that's really not good. That's really not good. Hope the bazooka's in range. Let's go. It's good. It's not good enough, though. Yeah, the damage has partly been done. Right. We'll get our cell. Oh, my lordy. The bazookas. We're being bazookaed. Oh, my giddy ant. This is chaos. Bazooka in there. You in there. You in there. Oh, my lordy. We've lost all of our troops over at this hands, uh, over at this right hand side. Give me some. Double magazine? Sure. Right, I think this top area is still like an area of acute weakness for us. We also still need to get a bow for us, but that's fine. Let's get a let's get a medic. Try and get a medic anyway. Okay, a few more of those over there. Okay, brilliant. I feel like we've kind of stabilized temporarily. We are already on wave eight. These are small waves. I get it. Uh, let's get. Get this over here. Mine. Okay, we threw some mines down there. Let's get some let's get some better better medics over here. The Bofors, of course, has gone down. Let's get the the Bofors back in action. Take out that aircraft. I don't know if it's gonna do diddly squat, but I guess we'll see. There's some weird shooting going on over here. Uh yikes, I guess. Okay, this is absolutely chaos. These bicycle bros are just chilling. That's fine. Right, slow down this truck here. Slow down that truck over there. Let's get grenades. Grenades on the main dudes seems like a massive, massive win. That seems really, really handy. Right. Had to use some, some temporary mines over there. That's fine. Let's get three troops in over here. Let's go there. Let's go there. How's our medic doing? Our medic is doing a power of work, but it doesn't look like it's enough. Not even close. Let's get some bombs dropped over there. That's fine. Uh, and honestly, I think I just need to keep on buying, buying normal dudes. Ah, uh, wow. Wow. I love this map, though. This is, this is absolute chaos. This is brilliant. Man, I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to check this out again. This is, this is phenomenal. This is absolutely phenomenal. Okay. I'll be better prepared this time. Can you attack on that side, please? Okay, whatever. Okay, go more. Uh, machine gun. I mean, machine gun would be kind of nice. You know what? Let's actually get a machine gun. Let's get a machine gun instead of an early, an early upgrade. We're already at 80% HP. Great start. Truly brilliant start. Yeah, that that not having that early accuracy bonus is gonna hurt for sure. Also, how do I rotate? I don't even know how to rotate. Uh, we'll get the better. There we go. Okay, there we go. We rotate like so. Very, very simple. Okay, double machine guns. They're both, like, good enough. But unfortunately, because of the way that we've sort of set things up, the range is going to really, really suck until we get better... Okay, yeah, bigger radius on those guys. That's gonna be that's gonna be nice. It's gonna be handy. But the radius on these machine gun turrets is gonna really, really suck. Plus, we have no way to get anti-air. Let's do this over here. Let's start getting start getting some barbed wire. Right in the center there. Double the magazine. That will help. But literally every side is vulnerable. I mean literally every side. Right. Mines blow them up right under there. Uh, I mean, bomber. I don't even want to use the bomber. It feels like a bit of a waste now that the truck has been destroyed. Okay. The medic is probably what we're after next. Or any upgrade to my normal, my normal dudes. I think an upgrade to my normal dudes is kind of nice. The next upgrade after that is going to be the herd uh, upgrade, which is going to be super handy. Let's get some airborne troops in here. 
There we go. Please do not kill my... Please do not kill my machine gunners. I spent so much money on them. Was it worth it? You tell me. No is the answer to that question. They do soak up a lot of damage, but they are so vulnerable without that upgrade. Like, so unbelievably vulnerable. Okay. Wow, they literally both died. Wow, that really sucks. Oh, boy. All right, we have a little bit of cash. 25% more sandbags. I mean, I think we have to get it. I think we have to get it. I mean, obviously, we want to get all the upgrades, but I think now we're, we're kind of just... Kind of just hoping. Airborne troops. Drop a few of those. Right. Okay, we've got a lot of we got a lot of troops on the ground. Doesn't feel like it's a lot, but it's a lot. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's get machine gunner in here. Hope that that makes a difference. Working on some upgrades to you. That's fine. And spam down a few of these. Now, I completely forgot that we didn't have the bow force. Yeah, we're going to need to fix that, obviously. There we go. Okay, we got some bicycles. That's fine. MG have bigger radius. Excellent. That's really, really good. Okay, so this site, don't want to say that it should be taken care of, but it should be in a better place. Let's get more barbed wire up here. Let's get some more troops. Let's get some troops to come down over here. Excellent. Right, that Bofor is actually coming in super handy right now. Brilliant. Okay, machine gun. I actually kind of like the idea of just like putting another machine gun down over here. Oh, I didn't even check what I did there. Um, that was a bit of a misclick. I think I might have yoinked some money, if I'm honest. Right, machine gun over here. That's brilliant. And actually, machine gun over there. Let's do it. Make sure that we've got a front line of, hmm, for, the, for a better phrase, sacrificial sacrificial inventory units, so that we don't have to so that we don't have to sacrifice our pretty valuable machine gun. Uh, upgraded bow four. I think I'll take that actually. Yeah, and we'll get another one of them over here. Because they can be handy, as I say. They are useful. Let's get some airborne troops. Bring them down over at this side. Wow. Um, I think we took a lot of damage there. I'm not sure what it was from. It might very well have been the aircraft. We took a lot of damage. There's, there's actually legitimately too much to see what's going on here. Okay. Another machine gun. Let's do it. Uh, extra reward shotgun medic. Uh, I think we'll take the medic. I'm not sure that I actually rate the shotgun, to be honest. Right, machine gunner over there. Machine gunner over here. Let's get another medic. Boom. Nice. And let's hope that that's enough to keep our dudes going. Right. There's a way to say the jacuzzi boys, but I don't mean the jacuzzi boys. I mean the... Uh, the nasty, nefarious bazooka boys are my primary problem. Let's get some upgrades to medics. These bicycle dudes explode on the, uh, on the, on the, on the barricades, and that is less than, uh, amenable. Right, this is looking, this is looking good. We've tightened up, we've tightened up our, we've tightened up our southern flank, that's for sure. The Bofors are coming in super clutch now. We still need, like, extra, we still need extra support, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of stuff that needs to be needs to be happening over here. And, uh, you know, for example, our... Our, uh, our machine gunners are going down on occasion. But we're now starting to just sort of swap in machine gunners and make sure that they're... Make sure that they're doing their job. Another medic here and there doesn't hurt. Getting some replacement OG troops is fine. There we go. They are the they are literally the most important aspect of, of any defense, I think. Yeah, okay, so there's there's clearly like some shenanigans happening like round here. 
They're like riding around in like a really, really weird fashion. I wonder if I was to put like this in here, if that would make a difference. Right, this is why we need a this is why we need a bazooka. This is why we need a bazooka boy or a mortar boy sort of on the back lines, just ready to pounce. Oh my lordy, this is madness over here. Right, let's get some let's bolster this bolster this with troops. Uh healing range is unlimited. I like that, but I think I prefer a bazooka. I literally think I prefer a bazooka. Yeah, let's get the bazooka over over here. Beautiful. And a bazooka over here. Nice. And a bazooka over here as well. I don't think the bazookas are going to become the new sort of de facto standard go-to unit. But it ain't bad. It certainly ain't bad. Right. Unlimited medic reach. That's legitimately fantastic. Uh, we can now stick these guys absolutely anywhere. And hope that they're just going to have the range to go and... Well, they will have the range. Let's just hope that they have the time, I guess, to rush in and, and get the job done. Let's get some more barbed wire over here. I think now, now that we've sort of managed to progress past, I guess, the point of immediate worry, and we can sort of spam down a little bit more, I guess, less urgently. Give healing in a small radius each 10 seconds. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we can actually afford to sort of get more Bazooka Boys, which is, you know, first and foremost, absolutely fantastic. Loving that. Uh, beautiful. These medics are doing a little bit of healing. Not to anyone in particular, by the looks of things. Uh, what I mean to say is that now that we're in a nice place, we can think about maybe spending some more of our... Certainly some more of our points. Oh my goodness gracious me. Where did this music come from? Where did this music come from? It's, it's come out of nowhere. What's going on? Why, why did the music go crazy? <laughs> that scared the bejesus out of me. It's still too loud. What happened? Jeez Louise. Whew, that <laughs> oh, that, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. That's the video game's way of... Uh oh that's a video game's way of scaring me holy cow okay um that goes in there beautiful this is weirdness i don't know what's happening here okay i'm just spamming down my regular troops it seems to be seems to be mostly working anyway what i was away to say before i got rudely interrupted um i think we need to consider the idea of mortars i mean really they are so good they really are very very good right this area of effect healing might be good might not be good Let's get some mortars. Are mortars better than bazookas? I mean, probably just because of the length of time that it actually takes the units to, uh, takes the the shells to arrive. So I presume to sort of like balance that they, they have more, they have more damage. I also haven't even I haven't even taken the advanced sort of points over here. Right, we did hit ninety seven percent. 30% faster reload on the mortars. That's fine. We're replacing these guys like there's no tomorrow. It's still not fast enough. Give me a give me an airborne as soon as we can. Right in here. Yep, perfect. Keep this area clean. And keep keep place in mines, to be honest. Oh my lordy. Clearly run out of units over here. We're running out of units on like every what side. Jeez Louise. I feel like part of it is because the, the troops probably only get their... They probably only get a defensive bonus from, like, one angle. Good news is, is that all of the machine gunners over here are doing an absolutely stellar job. Right, hold on. Pause. Okay. Nice. Right. Why I lost there! Oh my lordy. Holy cow! That happened so unbelievably quickly. Man, I mean, it's like you let up for like a second. I mean, look at the look at the troops that are swarming on the on the, the northern front. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I mean, even if we hadn't been conquered, I think, from our right here, not certain, but I think it's this area. Even if we hadn't been overwhelmed from, from that angle, uh, almost certainly we would have faced immense pressure um from up north. But holy cow. That is 
incredible. Very, very, very cool. Um, I tell you what, those extra maps have really made a tremendous difference to this game, actually. It has gone from being a very, very cool game and interesting game to being legitimately fantastic. Very, very, very enjoyable. And I still haven't checked out the big trench yet, uh, but that's okay. We'll leave something for the next update. Um, given the, the, the rapidity, is that a word? Sure, whatever. Given the rapidity of the uh, the updates, I am reasonably confident that things are only going to continue to get better. And uh, I've certainly been loving the maps. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to the extra units as well. I'm, I didn't rate the shotgun, but to be fair, I didn't really have any upgrades for it. I've only really, you know, got upgrades for the for the basic unit and for the medic as well and a couple of extra bits and bobs throughout but definitely lots of replayability i love it and it's only going to get better as more and more more and more maps and more and more units come online so brilliant 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 stuff uh, ladies and gents thank you ever so much for watching my name of course has been open potato it's been me check out the patreon if you're interested in helping me if it is like uh this possible but for now and for me i'll see you next time bye